Following their shocking 4-4 draw at the Samuel Ogbemudia Stadium in Benin last week, the Super Eagles of Nigeria once again failed to get past the Leon Stars of Sierra Leone in Freetown on Tuesday and the first return fixture of the AFCON 2020 qualifiers. We've invited our sports correspondent, Destiny, uh, to join us and have a conversation about this. Uh, l let's, you know, quickly share your thoughts on... The, the match, you know, how we fared against Sierra Leone, what signs this really, really shows about the strength of the Super Eagles. Well, uh, good morning. I am very, very disappointed. Actually, I was <laughs> expecting more from the Super Eagles, but it was not shocking because I knew that uh, the way they played last week, they were still going to make the same errors they did in Sierra Leone yesterday. This, Nigeria has not won a game this year for the first time since 1974. That was a shocking result. And what if we don't actually go to qualify for the Nations Cup? These are the things that we're actually going to be looking at. Well, when this, um, uh, yeah, when the qualification first started, I told the doctor, I said, we need to stop conceding goals. A time is going to come where we are going to start calculating. We need a draw to qualify. We need a win to qualify. If Nigeria had just won the game yesterday and last week, there wouldn't be any need for us to come and sit here and start talking about the spikes of Nigeria. Believe you me, Next year in, um, in Kotonou, I know that it's going to be very, very difficult. And if Nigeria goes to lose the remaining fixtures, the remaining two fixtures of next, uh, your next year, the nation's some, cup. Some, some, some people are saying it's not about the um, um, conceding goals, but the content of the people that make up the squad. No, I, What's the argument about that's, that? That's, it's actually a very good squad, but I don't feel there is a good partnership yet. Where I'm actually having a problem with the coaches, you have, you brought in new sets of players. Some have actually not played together for a long time. Some are, some are just coming to meet their, uh, their teammates for the first time. So why don't you, first of all, of course, we organized a friendly match, but the friendly match ended in the favor of the opponent. Nigeria did not, do, um, so okay, let's, let us fix the fact. I don't think this particular squad, I still think they need to come together and form a good partnership. Because oh. you can't just come from different parts of the world. You are bringing them from Germany, from Switzerland, from Finland, from England. Some of them have actually not played together for a long time. So playing two friendlies, uh, two Nations Cups, does not really generate that partnership. So I think more should have been done. Yes, people felt that uh, yes, the Alunians, they are, they, are, um, they are going to be like a banana people for Nigeria. But in sports, paper and the field Reality. of play. Who, they are who, two who different are we playing teams. next and what are our chances well, of qualifying? Uh, we are going to be playing uh, Benin Republic and it's going to be in Kotonou. I don't think Nigeria, they are going to actually do anything spectacular because when you go to Kotonou to play, a lot of things can happen. And for Benin, they are, they are actually second with seven points and they win for them. We automatically qualify them to the Nations so Cup. So both teams need a win? It, both teams actually need to win. But who is going to claim that racket. I don't think Nigeria can do that. Not with this type of formation. It seems so pessimistic. Be optimistic. I'm, I'm, I'm actually just saying the truth. Not, <laughs> last year, it first started that we were conceding goals. And I just said, let us stop conceding goals and learn how to defend and score goals. Yesterday, we could not even get a goal to score. And the only goal that was scored was an outside goal. I would, I would ask what is wrong, but we are out of time. Um, uh, hopefully, in the course of your um, uh, conversation during sports, you will explain what is wrong with, you know, us that we keep, uh, we keep losing uh, when it comes to these uh, international fixtures. Thank you very much, Destiny, for coming on The Breakfast. Thank you very Super much. Super it was all me money. Thank you. <laughs> oh, so it cost me money yeah. yesterday. <laughs> you cost everybody Whose money. fault is that? I'm just saying. Whose you know, fault oh, is that? Did they send you a message? I'm just saying. Please, Joe. Hope, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.